What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today, I want to show you how we can make this night scene using a day sequence inside of Unreal Engine 5.5. And not only that, I haven't seen anybody do this yet, but look, right here, watch, watch. I got the moon to work with the day sequence. So if you want to see how to do it, let's get started. So for those that aren't familiar, this is a new experimental function with Unreal Engine 5.5. And so take this for what it is because it is experimental. But if we look at the roadmap, we can see Carlos, shout out to Carlos because he actually helped me out on this. But you can see right here in the example, we can easily go from day to night just using a slider within Unreal and you can have it be automatic and you can even keyframe it as well. And so to get started, as I said before, we're in Unreal Engine 5.5. And what I'm gonna do is come over here to the outliner on the right. I'm just gonna select everything and I'm just gonna delete everything like so. Now, in order to activate the day sequencer, you're gonna have to come up here to edit, come down to plugins, and then inside the search bar, you just want to type in day and you should see day sequence. And again, it's experimental, so it might be updated there in the future, but I'm going to click this on and then I'm going to click on yes. And then you just need to restart Unreal Engine. Now with Unreal restarted, I'm just going to exit this out. And then if I come over here to where we have this box with the green plus sign, if I click this right here inside this, I could just type in day and you can see it pop up here as well. But what I'd like to typically do is with this still selected, I like to come down here to where it says place actors panel, left click on that, and now we can have a panel permanently on our left hand side. So now if I type in day, everything that I need is right here. So this is personal preference. I just like having this panel here on the side, but what I'm gonna do is right here where it says sun moon day sequence actor, I'm gonna click and drag that into my scene and right off the bat, you can see we have some clouds, we have some stars, and I'm gonna come over here inside of my details panel, and I'm just gonna hit this to reset everything at zero, zero, zero. And now we can actually go through and change out the time of day. So there's a couple places where you can do this. Right here under the details panel, you'll see that we have this little timeline bar right here. If I just click this over, I'm just clicking and dragging. Now we're going from night to day and day to night. And you can always do it up here as well, where it says time of day. Right here at the time, you can always go through and change out what time it is as well. And this is going off a 24 hour clock. So if you're in a part of the world that uses that, you should be familiar. But if not, you know, it's just army time if we're here in the United States. But the main thing you might notice is we don't have a lot of functionality over here for like changing out the clouds or even add more stars. And so in order to do that, you want to come up here where it says time of day. We're going to left click on this. And you want to click on right here where it says open root sequence. So let me select this right here. And now we're going to have the sequencer pop up. Now you're going to have two tracks in here. The one that you want to use is the bottom one that will say 24 hours. So I'm going to double click on this. And now if I scrub through this timeline, you can see now everything is actually being controlled by the sequence. And so let's say we wanted to get rid of these clouds here. If I look down here, instead of my sequencer under volumetric cloud, we have this right here where it says cloud global coverage. Right now it's at negative five. If we scroll it up, you can see the clouds engulf the entire sky. But if we do negative one, now we have no clouds in the sky and we can actually see a lot more stars. Now, if we wanted to make the stars a little bit more intense, right here where it says stars intensity, instead of four, let's go up to one. Now you can see the sky's a little bit more populated. If we go up to maybe like five, we have a lot more stars up in the sky. But the main thing you might notice, no matter where we look at inside the sky, we don't see any moon. And so in order to get the moon, it's a little bit tricky, but if you come over here inside the outliner and select your sun moon day sequencer, and then let me pull this down under my details panel, you see that we have a direct light that's called moon component. Now, if we select this and then come down here under rotate, if you rotate it, you're going to rotate it until you actually see the moon there. So let me actually rotate this around. And there we go. So now we see the moon inside of our scene. But the thing you might notice too is it illuminates the sky a lot. It's actually making it blue. So if you want to knock that down a bit, just come down here under intensity. Maybe let's make this like 0.1. And now it no longer illuminates the sky. I mean, if you want to have a little bit of illumination, maybe 0.5 would be a little bit more suffice. And then down here inside your sequencer, you can always change the size of the moon. So if you want to make the moon a little bit larger, you could do that as well. And then for moon intensity, if we bring it down, you'll see that will start to fade the moon there as well. So even if we bring it down to like point, maybe let's do 0.5, something like that. We're getting a nice fade on our moon and you would just go through and change this out to your desire. 
So this is a fun new plugin added to 5.5 that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy because it makes doing a day night sequence a lot more simpler. And then also having control over the sun and the moon as well. I mean, you have a lot of functionality in there. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in that next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.